Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, I found a hat that fits. Uh, that ain't the kind of hat I had in mind. <laughs> Good morning, folks. It's time for the cap guy and the embarrassed JT. I, I'm not. I am not a court jester. <laughs> I've never even been to court. <laughs> well, the king says, what king? The king of the north. Oh, why is my mouth moving when you're saying king of the north? Because <laughs> I'm not the greatest puppeteer in the world. Uh, I'm not a puppet. I'm real. <laughs> okay. Well, just because you watch Game of Thrones up there, don't mean I got to be the court jester. Where did you get this silly hat? I had a yard sale a few weeks ago, and I had never taken out of the package, and I thought, you know what? That's elastic. That'll fit JT's head. Okay. Can't you get me a Nintendo hat or a PlayStation hat like you got on, or even an Adidas, or, as they say in Australia, Adidas? <laughs> That's true, they do. Uh, well, you had another good day in sales. Yep, sure did. 75 away from 1K. Yep, that's true. And I really don't like this hat. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Kind of a hat? Uh, what would you call it? Uh, JT's Perfect Attire. I know, that's the Hawaii shirt, and that's coming up. We're getting close. I'm ready. I'm ready to get on that paddleboard. Yeah, I was just reading about tiger shark attack. Oh, no, never mind. I ain't getting on no paddleboard. They don't have them that often. I know, but it'd be my luck. It'd be when I was there, and it'd be me. They're not going to eat you. Why? Because most of the time, it's it's a mistaken identity thing when they when they bite somebody, and they would mistake my identity. You just know it. Well, they'd probably hear that oaky accent. They'd probably just think, "Oh heck no, oh heck no." That's that's a good thing. Hey, shark, I'm an oaky. I, I'll brand it on me before I go if I need to. If you won't bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, wow. I heard some people like my song yesterday. Yeah, you got a lot of comments about the gum, too. Hey, you can't have my gum. If I find it, it's mine. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. That's what we say in the puppet world. We kind of say that in the human world, too. You do? Why, well, yeah, I got to steal our stuff. Uh, We have lots of those kind of sayings. Like, don't eat dirt. Uh, don't eat dirt. <laughs> yeah, you'll grow worms. That's what grandma used to say when I was a kid and I ate dirt. Well, she probably should have. That's probably what's wrong with you. You ate too much dirt. <laughs> the worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms crawl in your mouth and out. They'll eat your eyes, they'll eat your nose, they'll eat the gooey between your toes. I bet most of you have never heard that song before. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of them silly songs that we learned as kids that uh, I can say my alphabet's backwards, too. How about that? Uh, I can, too. Uh, uh, you can't say your alphabet's backwards. I can, too. I've heard you tell your grandkids several times. Well, let's hear it, then. Take her away, JT. Z-Y-X-W-V-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Heck, I can say it faster backwards than I can forwards. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's useless information, but, yep, it's something I learned as a kid, and I guess you did too. Well, I'm not a kid. I'm 21. You still ain't got that birth certificate, though. That's true. That's true. Well, we better get on with the show, and uh, eight sales, good money. Let's go, folks. Smash that like, and subscribe if you have it. 25% of the people. Yeah, I know, and I'm going to talk about that. All right, let's go, folks. All right. You're right, this hat does stick to my head. <laughs>
I will grab them and ship them and get them out of here same day service. So keep that in mind if you're buying. Um, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to go in order or some semblance of order. Star Wars, Win dixie little card packs. I think there's 16 plus a couple of loose uh, things. And there's Star Wars related. And I got these somewhere. I think I paid a buck for these. All of them or less. And uh, I sold these for $8.99 plus shipping. And I'll pop that profit up. Um, plush. 50 cents a piece. These are from Harry Potter. I know not the characters. But uh, I knew they were Harry Potter. Because Google Lens tells all. And uh, I paid a buck for both of them together. Sold these for $15 plus shipping, and I will pop that profit up. Try not to cover everything up. Next is Star Wars also from that $385 bundle deal, which I'm well in the profit on. This is a Hoth Tauntaun. Oh, wait a minute. Can we mix Harry Potter and Star Wars? Would that be kind of sacrilegious or, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Equal opportunity employer here, folks. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, is, is that kind of the music? It should be like a Star Wars thing, not dun, da, dun, da, dun. But anyway, uh, this is a valuation of $10, and I sold this big boy for, what did I sell the Tauntaun for? Um, see, I got off track. $41 plus shipping, and that'll go first class. I'll pop that profit up. The only Mary Kay I sold, but it's two. It is a nighttime uh, solution moisture gel facial. And I put them in a lot of two together because they look like they sold better that way. And um, I had nothing invested. Got this from Kittenville Brick. Brian sold these for $49.99, free shipping. And I'll pop that fantastic profit up. The next two are from... Uh, Two of the, the yard sale cleanout we did at the garage and the estate sale, uh, the leftover stuff. Um, there you go. This is what they call a Big Bang Cannon number 10. It's pretty cool. Um, it is missing a piece here. And you put the fuse or whatever. I've never done one of these. But it was left in the house uh, that we did... Uh, well, we cleaned out a garage and got to keep the money to go to Maui with. And ah, he's heavy too. And uh, yeah, had nothing invested. Sold it for 30. I had it for 35 just because of the fact that it wasn't totally complete. And uh, I'll pop that profit up. That'll be a fun box. And then the next one's from the estate sale. Normally you'll see these in black, but I think somebody's painted this one red. And it is basically, if you went to school, and most of you did, past past sixth grade, Jethro Bodine, not, 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 not. Anyway, it is a General Electric clock. It was in the garage, and you can see it's model 2008A as an Apple. If you come across these, these have value. I actually had this higher, and I kept coming down a little bit at a time, trying to move it. It does work, and... Um, they go for 80-ish or more, the black ones. Now, some again, somebody, I think, painted this. If they did, they did a really good job. There are no runs or anything in this paint. But um, I sold it for 60 plus shipping, and uh, I'll pop up that fantastic profit. And now we'll get into the two that I sold yesterday, and I'll show you those on the screen real quick. All right, the first thing is a pair of Levi 505-4432s, and... Um, these have the orange tag. Normally, you will see Levi's with the red Levi tag. And if that E is capitalized, they could be salvage jeans. And those are worth a lot more money. You'll rarely find those, but look for those. And then the orange tag is kind of rare, too. And then you'll see sometimes a blank tag with just the trademark. And um, some of those can be a little bit more valuable. But anyway, these are 505s. They're not 501s. And um, I paid up. For these a couple of years ago when I was being really stupid with jeans. I've actually had these since July of 19. Finally sold them. I paid $7.50 when I bought them. Sold them for $17.50 when I sold them. And plus shipping. Luckily, I'll make a little on the uh, shipping because those are going on a flat rate envelope. And I'll pop that profit up. 
And the last thing I sold, I picked up last uh, Friday in an estate sale. And there were three of these, and I didn't, had never heard of the name brand, Big Mac. But Big Mac is a J.C. Penney brand, but it is vintage. These actually, th I think, are 50s. And the gentleman was, uh, had just went into a home and had a lot of old stuff. It's where I got the uh, Western, the Ben K. Green Western books I just sold. And uh, there were three of these flannel shirts. When I got them home, I didn't look them over real good because they were only a dollar a piece. And uh, one of them has a hole in the back, but for a flannel shirt, if you're out, you know, if you live in the north or something, it doesn't really matter a lot if you got a t-shirt on under it. Um, I'm just guessing because I don't live in the north. But uh, hey, one dollar in, sold it for thirty plus shipping, and I'll pop that profit up. And no MML, you cannot shoot the cannon. That's just I know you deal in metals and stuff. And if y'all hadn't checked that man Matt Link, he's doing a lot of metal melting now and forming molds and doing some really good stuff with the skull heads and other items. He can do just about anything. You can get the mold for it. But uh, yeah, you can't shoot the cannon. I, I just don't trust you, buddy. But uh, hey. I still love you. All right. On the day, eight sales. Here's my cost of goods. Here's my total sales. And another good day of profit. I'll take it. Sales really slowed down towards evening. But, hey, I had one, I think, last night, and that was it. But the other ones during the day made up for all that because, hey, you've seen what I made. So I appreciate it. I'm 75 away from the 1,000 mark. When I get there, I'll be doing the giveaways. So stay tuned. If you hadn't subscribed, 25% of the people that watch aren't subscribed. Check your phones. Make sure you're subscribed because sometimes they just drop off. And if you do subscribe, watch your videos to make it stick. I appreciate you, and we'll see you tonight on Angie Resell's channel. Sometimes we get confused because we get old and, you know, it just, you know, I gotta go. See ya. And that wasn't proper. No. Y'all have a great day. I hope your sales are good. And the Cap Gun JT, we'll, we're out. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day, folks. Yeah, that's more like it. Bye, folks. I promise I'm going this time. I promise. I promise. Maybe not. <laughs>